Microgrids are growing in popularity everywhere. In fact, they're already here in the Midwest. We have one of the most advanced microgrids in North America in Ameren. At their testing and application center in Champaign, Illinois, they built an advanced microgrid. Microgrids are, are more sustainable, so if we have a problem on our higher voltage transmission lines, uh, we would still have the ability to provide service to our customers. If we can operate them and control them, it would elevate the level of reliability to the overall system. What is a microgrid? We actually developed what you see here, which is a demonstration or what we call an experience table, so that people can really get an idea of what the look and feel of a microgrid is and how it operates and how it really provides value to the people within the microgrid and to the community that it supports. We kind of view it as a fence line. So if you look at the table, you can see an outline around the edge of that. So think about that outline as the boundary of the microgrid. And then if we're keeping the fence analogy going, there's a gate. The gate is how we let electricity in. If you disconnect the gate or you close the gate, everything goes dark. The utility substation went dark, followed by all of our non-critical loads. The only one that's still on are the critical loads. These are the ones that have been defined that are life-saving, that are essential to the continued operation. And these loads, as part of the microgrid, get a building level backup system. So the first thing that happens is the microgrid controller verifies the situation. And then once it's assessed the situation, it goes and it confirms, in fact, we had a loss of source. And that's what the blue circles represent again, is confirmation of the loss of source. So now we're ready to actually start reforming. And what we're going to do there, the first thing is it's going to go after those generation sources. And you see the blue lines of communication and all the generating sources that it's going to call on starting up. Right? So now they're in preparation mode. And you might think this takes a while, but all of this happens in three seconds. The next step is to actually bring them online. Now that they're online, you can tell by the transition from blue to white. The next step, let's bring power back to the people. And here it comes. We are now going to close the switches back onto the distribution system. And you can see in yellow, our distribution system lights up. Now we're one step away from being able to bring power back to the entire microgrid, and we're only at 14 seconds. And at this point, the microgrid controller tells the switches to energize all the loads inside the facility. So inside the microgrid, we now have full power, and all of that happened within 15 seconds. In 15 seconds, we've gone from a complete outage back to a fully powered microgrid where we have a kilowatt in every corner of the microgrid. You probably didn't even have time to find your flashlight. You certainly didn't have time to call the utility. And more importantly, no crew could be dispatched to be able to provide this level of restoration in 15 seconds.